Hi, it's Mike from Sex Ed. And uh, today I want to talk about uh, female anatomy for a change and uh, about birth canal, which is the term that we are going to use because of uh, social media. And so you know that uh, I've developed a model of a real person birth canal uh, based on a human cast. So the original models goes like this, so which allowed us to realize that um, a birth canal is something that is quite big and definitely not symmetrical and it is not a tube, it is like very shapely, very muscular and um, this allowed to create this model that is really good to train a future physician, midwife, etc. to do gynecological exam and it's also good to accompany patients. But a couple of months ago, I went to the Ishwish conference in Atlanta and met some uh, pharmaceuticals who are developing new methods of uh, contraception or hormone delivery, intravaginal ones. And they were actually really interested in having like a, the model of a birth canal that was see-through so they could demonstrate like how oh, their device was sitting in said birth canal. So it took a couple of months, as usual, there is a, always a matter of time and money and resources, but uh, I've got the prototype uh, ready today. Like now I need to make molds and like figure it out, like how I can make it more supple and everything, but uh, I will show you. So bear with me as I switch. So this is the model. So you see it's made out of clear plastic and it goes together like this. So this is a real birth canal. You've got the external genitalia and when you open it, you've got like the exact shape of like split in the middle of what it looks like. So it's really handy to actually explain like, for example, here I have a tampon, like where does a tampon, tampon go when uh, you have your period, you're menstruating and that it, does not go to the end of the birth canal. It's it's like staying pretty much there. Uh, you can also do it with the, um, with the cup. Like I use the Nixit one here. So the Nixit, when you put it, you will put it like this. And up. Like this. And uh, it's the way that the blood will be collected. I mean, it's not really well done but like you get the idea so it's like I'm, I'm going to work on it to to develop something that can actually be relevant for for real life practice uh, as usual because like when I develop things it's because I have had some demands and there is a need and like to know about those needs it's really good if you actually can feed me because on my own in my basement like I, I cannot be aware of everything. And so it's, it's really good if you can like comment, send me emails, be like, Hey, I'm working on this and I would need this type of model because it, it's really what I'm, what I want to do with this project is to support practitioners and people working for sexual health to have all the materials they, that is necessary for them to do their job to the best of their abilities and have like all the pedagogical support that is needed. So I will uh, keep you informed of what is going on with this. I'll show it to you again. So it's like right now it's rigid, but I will maybe try to make it in a, in something that is more supple. And as you see, it's, I, I'm actually really excited. <laughs> it's, it's super cool. Well, so, I'll keep in touch and uh, please do not hesitate if you have comment, request, want to see something happen, like I will try to make it happen. Have a nice day.